Hello everyone, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will control a motor with push button. We will be also using timers. So, let's look at the example first. Example 29. When push button is pressed and released, then motor 1 will be on after 10 seconds and after 10 seconds, motor 1 goes off. That means when push button is pressed and released, motor 1 gets on after 10 seconds and for 10 seconds. So for push button, we will use a normally open contact. We will also use memory bits and timers like T on and TP that is on delay timer and pulse timer. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. This is the interface of TI Portal version 16. Firstly, I will click here and then go to PLC Tags and Default Tag Table. So here, we need to add our inputs and outputs. So we have one input that is push button and we have one output that is motor1. So I will change the address of motor 1 as Q0.0 .0 as it is an output, its address will start with Q. After that, I will minimize this and then I will go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here, we will draw the ladder diagram. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact for push button. So I will click here and select push button from the list. And then I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as M0.0 that is a memory bit. And I will latch this here. So I will insert one more normally open contact here. I will open the branch, add normally open contact and close the branch. So this will be M0.0. So when push button is pressed, M0.0 .0 gets true and when it is released, it still remains on. And then I will insert a normally open contact that will be M0.0 .0, and then I will insert a normally closed contact. This will be push button. So. When M0.0 .0 is true and when push button is released, then the motor will turn on. So I will use one more uh, memory bit here. And this will be M0.1. And I will latch it here. So I will open the branch. Add a normally open contact and close the branch like this. So this will be m0.1 so we will use this m0.1 to turn on the motor so i'll insert a normally open contact this normally open contact will be m0.1 and then i will insert a coil for motor 1 so i will select motor 1 here so this motor 1 should uh, turn on after 10 seconds for that i will use a timer I will go here timer operations and then T on. Okay. And preset a value should be 10. That is when push button is pressed and released, motor 1 should turn on after 10 seconds. And it should remain on for 10 seconds. For that, I will insert a TP pulse timer. Here. And preset value should be 10. 10 seconds. Not millisecond, 10 seconds. So as you can see here, when push button is pressed, M0.0 .0 gets true. And when it is released, M0.0 .0 still remains true. As M0.0 .0 .0 is true, and push button is released, that is, it is off, then the current will flow through it, this M0.1 gets true. 
and it will remain true. And then when this M0.1 gets through, it will wait for 10 seconds. After that, motor 1 gets through for 10 seconds. So I will start the simulation here. Click on load, finish, and after that I will start CPU, okay, and then start monitoring, and after that I will switch to project view here. Create a new project, create. Let's wait for some time. Go to simulation table, simulation table 1, and then right click here and load project tax. So let's start the simulation. So when push button is pressed, this M0.0 .0 gets true, and this M0.0 .0 is true, but push button is on, and then when I release it, so push button should be released. And when I release it, this M0.1 gets true and this timer starts and it will wait for 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, this motor one turns on and it will remain on for only 10 seconds. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And after that, motor one gets off. So when push button is pressed and after releasing the push button, this timer will start. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.